morning once again, my dear students at home. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Okay, so I made again this video for you so that you will be updated to what's happening here in the classroom. Today, we just only continue our lesson that we had yesterday about uh, the greatest common divisor or greatest common uh, factor. Okay, so we have this about uh, the different uh, uh, ways or methods and how to get the GCD or the GCF. First, we have here the factoring method by listing all the uh, factors for the particular integer. We have the prime factorization, uh, factoring using the prime uh, using the prime numbers. We have the short division method, and we have here the Euclidean algorithm or the long division method. But we just have first about the factoring method, the prime factorization, and this one is the short division method. Okay, so we have here examples. So we have here about the uh, the greatest uh, factoring method, rather. So the GCF or the GCD for that is four. So again, for the GCD or GCF, we just only pick the greatest uh, common among the two uh, integers. Uh, so we have there the, the factors, the common factor, the greatest common factor, okay? So that we can use it as the GCD or the GCF. So we have here also the prime factorization using the prime factors. So we have there the same. So just only for this, just only pair, okay? Pair, it will be pair with the two integers and for this one, but two doesn't have pair anymore or three doesn't have pair anymore. So just multiply this with this and this will be the GCD or GCF. Now for this one, the uh, short division method, so we use the prime numbers to divide, and if you cannot divide anymore, uh, together with the all with together with the three numbers, then you stop dividing. So all the divisors here that you use to factor out will be used to get the GCD. So they just multiplied, and you will have the GCD or the GCF. So for this, we have twelve. Okay, so we have also this example, right? So for factoring method, we just write all the factors there and just uh, choose the a common factor, this one. That is the greatest common factor, which is four. Okay, for this one, the prime factorization, we have there, this and that one. So we just multiply that, four. And here we divide it already. So here you cannot divide this already because these are prime numbers. Okay, so we have here two times two, that is four. Now we have here, okay, so we have here we just, uh, okay, so we have again, there we have eight. For this one, we have uh, this and this one and another one. Now for this one, you cannot anywhere because it doesn't have the pair. So we just multiply all of those two by two side twos, you have eight. For this one, we divided already, we just only multiply this and we have there the GCD. Okay, now so we have here additional uh, examples, but we're going to use only the prime factorization and the short division method. Okay, so we have there the, the integers, um, uh, the teachers 20, 24, and 30. Okay, so we have here the number. So for using prime factorizations, we have here the factors 2, 2, and 5. So we have here 4 times 5 is 20. For 24, we have 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 3, 24. For 30, we have 2 times 3, 6 times 5 is 30. So if we're going to find the, uh, the GCD or the GCF, so we just here, just combine of this, that's one pair, one group, and we're going to, again, another one, no more, okay, no more, because we don't have two here, or we don't have five here, or we don't have three here. So therefore, uh, the GCD for this is two. So the same with the short division method, you just divide. So we have here the three numbers, 20, 24, and 30. 
Now we start to divide this by the first uh, prime number, which is two. Since that this is all, or all of this are even number, so we can start with an even um, number also from the prime uh, from the prime numbers, which is two. But if this is like an, an an odd number, so we can use three or five. So we start with two to divide. Twenty divided by two is um, ten. With 24, we have 12, and 30 with 2 is 15. There we go. And again, we can divide this by which number? Huh? Which number we can divide? No more, because this, we have 2 and 5. For this, 3 and 4. For this, 3 and 5. So there's no such common between the three of this. So meaning to say that we stop dividing here, and we have here the GCD, which is 2. Okay, so we have there the GCD for 20, 24, and 30. Now we have the next one, 36, 24, and 30. Okay, 36, 24, and 30. For 36, we have 2 times 2 is 4, times uh, 3 is 12, times 3 is 36. For 24, we have 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 24. For 30, we have 2 times 3 is 6, times 5 is 30. So again, using the prime factorization, we just group all the 2's the same number. Okay, so we have here one group, that's 1, and we have here one more, this 3's. That one, that's one group going here. And we need to multiply that. So 2 times 3 is 6, right? It's easy. That's how you can uh, 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 get the uh, GCD or GCF for that for those numbers. Now we have here the short division. So we have the number 36, 24, and 30. So since that these are all even, so we start with 2, right? We divide by 2. Do not use uh, not prime numbers, okay? So you can start with 2 or 3 or 5. Now, since that these are uh, uh, even number, so we can start with 2. 36 divided by 2 is, well, there, 18. 24 by 2 is 12, and 30 by 2 is 15. Okay? So, still we can divide this. Huh? So, what number? So, we have here for 16, we can have 6 and 3. So, we have 3. For 12, we have 4 and 3. For 15, we have 3 and 5. So 3 is common for these three numbers. Okay, so we can divide it by 3. So we have 18 divided by 3, we give you 6. So 12 for 3 is 4, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So there we go. And for this time, we cannot divide anymore because one of the number is a prime number already. So we cannot divide, we stop. Okay, and also, uh, there's no common number that we can divide. So we stop there and we multiply that and we have the GCD of 6. Question. So that's how easy that you can find the GCF or GCD for certain numbers. Okay, comparing the numbers. Okay, that you can tell which is the uh, greatest common factor for the given numbers. Okay, question. No more. Now we have here. So we have here uh, three numbers. Now uh, you're going to present only the uh, the GCD using the prime factorization as well as the short division method, okay? So this is only extra points. You copy this and answer into your yellow notebook, okay? Yellow notebook. So try to, to use yellow notebook for this, okay? So this is only um, extra points. And we have here our activity for today using your workbook. So I have given already the answer. So try to figure out the solution. Show me the prime factorization and the short division method. And we have here our activity. Uh, you get your workbook. You answer exercise 1.3. That's number 1, 2, 3, and 4 of your workbook. That is pages 15 to 16. Okay. So please answer this. And when you come to report to school next week, I will check your book. Okay? So did you understand it?
Do you have any clarification about uh, finding the greatest common factor of certain numbers? No more? Okay, so that's all for today and um, see you again next time. Bye-bye.